It's JC at Motorcycle Superstore with the 6D helmet. This is the ATR1 design. Now, what's so cool about this thing is that it's totally different on the inside. The construction of this in terms of safety performance is different than what we've come to expect from normal helmet technology. 6D stands for the six dimensions of freedom. The idea that you can move any direction inside a three-dimensional space. You're going to see the way this thing's built on the inside, it's going to allow for that, which actually increases the level of safety. First, let's talk about the outer shell. This thing is a tri-composite. It's built from Kevlar, carbon fiber, and fiberglass. It's a high-end thing. It's very lightweight. And usually that would be enough to get us all excited and revved up. But there's more going on on the inside of the helmet to talk about. It uses two layers of EPS foam suspended by these rubber dampeners. This is called the Omnidirectional Suspension System, or ODS. Normal helmets, they have outer shell, one layer of EPS, and then your comfort liner. The way they work is when you crash, your head smacks it, and the foam begins to crush and absorb the energy. However, it crushes at a certain point. In between zero and that crush point, there's nothing going on to help save your head. This is doing that. That's what these rubber dampeners are doing. From zero to the crush point of the EPS, they're starting to move. They're starting to absorb energy, and that's going to help in those low threshold energy situations. Now, once they bottom out, then the EPS foam crushes like normal EPS. So you've actually got multiple layers of shock absorption. Now, the other thing that this does, because we don't just crash and smack the ground straight on every time. We're moving, we're rolling, the helmet wants to twist. This allows for movement, omnidirectional. It goes side to side, front to back, all the while compressing at the same time. So it's going to be absorbing energy from all different directions, and that's going to help keep the helmet where it needs to be on your head. It's also going to help shift the energy away from your, from your brain and your skull and your neck. Now, also, inside this helmet, you're going to find extremely good venting. On the outside, you've got eight intakes on the mouthpiece, the side of the chin bar, and then these here on the front of the brow. Now, these channel up in between the two layers of EPS. So you've got seven millimeter gap, and that's going to allow lots of air movement in between. This is what it looks like inside the actual helmet. The air is moving across in between these layers of EPS, and then you have 13 transfer ports drilled into that inner layer, which allows hot air to escape and cool air to get inside. So really extremely uh, advanced vent system. This helmet belonged to Zach Bell. You might remember him. He's the Geico rider who took a huge swan dive off of a Supercross triple. The guy smacked down into hard packed dirt. It was really, really violent. This helmet allowed him to get up, walk away from that. Now, no crash is the same. No helmet can keep you safe in every crashing situation, obviously. However, this helmet did its job. Now, you can see that these rubber dampeners, they allow that whole inner layer to move around. While this whole safety stuff is going on, you've got other features on the helmet that work in conjunction with that, like breakaway visor bolts. This is nothing new, but they do work. Plastic bolts that have actually been pre-drilled. That allows them to shear off, and this thing is able to move away. It doesn't catch and deliver that energy to the head. Ideally, when you crash, you'd like your head to be in a perfectly smooth ball. That allows the energy to get deflected and move away from your head. You don't want things like visors and chin bars all snagging the dirt and yanking you around. It's kind, it comes with the territory, but this is something that can be used to help minimize those effects. Also, some other features that you find on this helmet. Lots of comfort. You got great venting, but you've also got cool max liners on the inside. So this is going to allow for these things to wick the moisture, they're antimicrobial, and they have quick release cheek pads. Pop these out, it's a nice tab style that works on a little bit different ramp system inside. Easy to get in and out so you can take them out in emergency situations or just if you want to let them dry in between motos. The cheek pads actually are available in six different sizes and they're all interchangeable. So they're going to cover a wide range. Uh, you're also going to be able to tailor the fit really well. The shell is built in three different sizes. That covers all the way from extra small through double extra large in terms of fitment. There's something to fit everybody. Titanium hardware on the chin strap. This is going to, to allow for a little bit lighter weight. Also, the chin strap covers are removable and washable as well. It comes at a high price point, so you're gonna to have to weigh that against some of the other options out there. In terms of this, this construction, I know this looks really fat, uh, but you're not going to find that this turns you into a bobblehead. The thing is actually very condensed. We lined it up next to a Bell Motor 9. We lined it up next to a Fox V4. It looks the same size-wise. We also threw them on the scale. A size medium in the 60 weighs 3.2 pounds. 
a size medium on the, on the Fox was 3.6 pounds and the Bell Moto 9 was actually 3.7 pounds. So this thing is same size and actually lighter than some of its competitors. So don't worry about this technology looking all bulbous. You're not going to look like a bobblehead. A lot going on. This is the ATR1 in terms of styling. You can see different styles behind me, also different colorways available, tons of different sizing information. Check it out at MotorcycleSuperstore.com. You'll see more photos, more information. There's really a great resource there to find out more about this impressive 6D helmet. So check them out. Also subscribe to us on YouTube. You see more styles and more product videos. Thanks for watching.